um, for here, for his studio. Um, his. <laughs> I can understand you, but I find it hard to talk. So it's just the words that you're saying. How does that feel? Uh, no, not good. Not good? <laughs> it is. No. It is. Many of our clients have aphasia, which is the loss of ability to be able to speak or the ability to be able to comprehend what's happening. But quite often, our clients are not able to speak but they really do understand what is happening and that can be really frustrating. So can you try and say this one? Do you know what it says? Yeah. Is this what you want to be able to say? Yeah. Can you say it to me? Um, Just attempt, it's fine. Um. Music is such a powerful tool in brain injury because it's processed in both hemispheres of the brain. So for someone like Cindy, where she's lost most of the left hemisphere of her brain due to the two strokes that she had, as well as the swelling, we're able to access the right side of the brain through music, through melody and through rhythm. And this helps her to have a voice. Let's go to a cafe, please. Let's go to a cafe, please. One of the goals is for us to be able to go out and just do normal stuff, go to a cafe where she can order her coffee or, you know, some, something, something that everyone takes for granted. And you want to go to a cafe and you say, Let's go to a cafe, please. Brilliant. Yes. They could have been people that, that talked a lot. Many of our clients had jobs before their stroke and that required a lot of communication. So not only not being able to just say that they want a cup of tea, but, but they've, they are not able to go back to their jobs. And so they, they feel like they've lost their, their purpose. What did you used to do, Grant? I walked at the day drink. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then what happened? I ate a rug. Cindy got a very friendly personality. She worked at the University of Canterbury. She did fundraising for them, so that involved very strong communication skills here. Yeah. Quite often that hearing their voice for the first time is one of the most powerful things that happens in the session. And if they have a family member in there, it can be a really emotional time. Even talking about it now, it's quite difficult because before the stroke she was a very bubbly person. Um, yeah, so mm, um, for her to be able to say stuff that's, I mean, just for us to enjoy um, not doing the normal stuff, that's quite cool for us. I, I want, want to see, see my kids three times a week. week and was it important for you to say that sentence with your yeah. own voice yes 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 how important yes very yes, important yes. and that's really important to use their own voice to be able to ask their partner or ask um, if their child how are you what have you been doing today and you can see that with Grant, that that was a really important part of his therapy was to be able to use his voice again to be able to talk to his children and his family members. What impact have you found with the music therapy and the melodic intonation therapy that we've been using? A big change. Yes, yes, yes. What things do you say to your children? Hello, how are you? What have you been doing? Um, so before music therapy, could you say those things? No. What would you say? No. You just wouldn't speak? Before she had the stroke, she didn't like, like singing or, and then when she came to music therapy, I think she found an outlet because she was able to say what she was taught and put it into song.
love the chocolate. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah.